The objective is to catch, clean, and cook every species that's in this lake. Yeah, kitty. Jugs deployed right here. Oh, and that's an eater bath right there, boys. Oh, right there. You're a psycho. Catch him right there. Sorry for trespassing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on now. Who plunged it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh shit! <laughs> Before we jump into today's video, gotta let you know that Guggen is having a massive Fishing Black Friday sale that starts today, April 18th through the 28th. And right now, you can get up to 75% off site-wide when you use my promo code FLAIR at checkout. And the best part is, every $25 that you spend gets you one entry to win a tricked tin boat. I'm talking discounts on everything from rods, reels, lines, lure, apparel, storage, you name it. Everything on GuggenSquad.com right now is on sale. So make sure you use my promo code FLAIR at checkout to save yourself some money and get geared up for this season. We made it out to the lake, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. We are ready. This is the Dangle Crew. Dangle what, what, are you, what are you looking up over there? Anything important? Yeah. Big Let's hear it. What are you it's our new flavor I'm, I'm working on. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, uh, calm down over there. Yeah, okay. So we got we got the Dangle Crew here because we're, we're trying hard, okay? A lot of times we're going to different places. We're going to Walmart and Bass Pro and using this lure and that. We're just straight up harvesting today, okay? So the objective here at this lake, and this lake we've been to before, okay? We did ice fishing video. This is where we did the roulette video. This is where we did the kayak with the giant catfish video. We've been here multiple times and we spoke with one of the owners of the lake and they're saying they want to turn this into the ultimate crappie lake, okay? And there's there's a good amount of crappie here and there's some good sized ones, but the issue is there's too many crappie, there's also too many bass, and there's too many catfish, okay? So the objective is to catch, clean, and cook every species that's in this lake. And the only species that we know exist in here are big old catfish, big old crappie, big old bass, and maybe you assume there's gotta be bluegill, but we've never actually caught one here, so I can't confirm that. So we will be, you know, banjos here. So yeah. we're, we're, not, we're not gonna we're not gonna not go after bluegills I'll with banjo here. here. So if, if there's bluegills in here, he will find it. Okay, so our objective is to catch, clean, and cook every single species in here and to make the effort to make this a better crappie fishery. So if you guys like these kinds of fish management videos, plus we're just here to harvest and have a delicious dinner tonight, let me know. But the plan is we're all going to kind of divide and conquer, starting off with the catfish. That's Big Junior's specialty. Specialty, yeah. Big old kitty cats. Now, you do have something up your sleeve I see up there. That seems to be your favorite your favorite ta technique and thing to play with. Nope, the other one. Uh, oh, big, big Jug guy. Jugs. Yeah, big, jug. big Junior doesn't pass the opportunity to play with jugs. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so he's brought one jug, but we also have two rods. Okay, hold hold them suckers up. This so, one's a weightless. We got a weightless. This is a go-to. Okay, Guggen go-to with some floral on it, ready to go for a little weightless action. But we're gonna be using chicken liver, so it should be fine. It should still sink. That one, on it's the other hand, that's the old muscle. Guggen muscle with the braid. And that sucker's got a what a three ounce sinker. On yeah, it's it? got two. two two ounce sinker. So we got one that's just gonna kind of float around and meander, and then we got one that's weighted. So our plan is to cast them out right in this little vicinity. Look at that blue wing teal. I just got horned up. Oh, that was incredible. So that was up. incredible. I, I, I enjoyed that. So anyways, we're gonna, we have two rods dedicated to catfish, two rods dedicated to bass fishing, and two rods dedicated to pan fishing. And everybody here is just on dangle duty. And we're going to see how many fish we can catch and try to get one of every single species in here. So we've got the ultimate harvest. So we got two, two of them rods. And then after that, we got some bass rods. We've got a go-to with a clickbait on it right here that's ready to rock and roll. And then we got the lunker yeah. line on the muscle with the braid in case we got to get them out of them sticks you know there's some good lay downs and some brush fouls and then on the panfish side that's banjo specialty what do you what do you dangle with banjo what do you got the old micro light micro light yeah and, and what do you use for, for bait the old red worm red worm and then the other one here ultra light we got a little guggen crappie on the micro ultra light so it's a little guggen crappie action on there so we're going to try to catch a little bit of everything and then we're going to take it home and we're going to be using the brand new we've used it before but it is brand new guggen fish better there's cage and those original both are absolutely delicious. So with that being said, let's get the catfish rods dangling. Yeah, kitty. Look That's at that. Healthy load what on there. Dripping in the boat. What, what do you think? You like that? I think it'll work. Big old kitty cat. All right, we're, we're, we're flinging, boys. Woo, baby. 
You like that? That'll work. All right, we're gonna stake her in the ground. That way, the fish does the fit. The, it dangles while we dangle. Band is already bluegill fish. Yeah. You get anything? Not very successful. Big Junior's got that going in. What are the odds that stays? You might be better off just shoving that thing in the sand. We got another one. So the other one doesn't have a waist. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably go out there and drop it, and then we'll float her on back, and then set it in a tree or something, so don't get yoinked. There's big ones in here, like giant, giant catfish. So we, I mean, remember the jug video? We had them like mm -hmm. eight of them broke off. I mean, they broke a hundred pound line. There's not, they're not small, but what do you think? You, you getting her dialed? Not yet. Or is that, or is that that's a nice rod and reel setup. So you, Don't lose it. Are we better off leaving the bail open? We and could check them leave, every so often. We could leave the bail. We might be better off leaving the bail. And then just checking them every so often? It's open. Yeah, that rod's It's wrapped around the tip. Yeah, that one. It's, 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 still, gonna, it's still, still gone. It's still gone. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good call. Maybe leave the bail open and see if we get schooled. We'll, we'll check them every once in a while. All right, so one down. Let me just get the other one rigged up here. You're the jug guy. You, you, don't, you don't want to touch that, do you? No, I'll do it. Oh. It don't matter. I just. I Oh, that's you're why the, you were handing You're the expert, me. so I just wanted to make sure everybody, we don't catch anything, we blame Big Junior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually. Yeah, correct. If we don't catch bluegill, I'm blaming that guy, so I think it's an even deal. That's fine. We haven't caught a bluegill out here, so there's a good chance it doesn't happen. I asked for night crawlers. I didn't get night crawlers, so. Oh, really? What'd you Walmart. Put? I asked this guy. I blame this guy. Nah, you'll be all right. Loading you, it up you some more. Up, yeah, right? Ali, you're trying to get world record or what? Is that it? Yeah. All right. Make sure they're hungry. Big Junior, you gotta keep the rod. I'm gonna let go if it starts to get tight. I don't need a circle other hook. other line's right here. I don't need a circle hook in the uh, finger here. I I've never done this, I'll be this honest. This is an interesting I'll be honest. way this to is catch a, This is a new one. But this is like the new technique for catfishing. It might be. Or you can just put a weight on it fishing. Yeah, bit. that would be easier. Banjo's got a fish? Shut up. No. What's he got? No, no, he came off. He come off. You good here? Give it a toss. All right. Weightless kitty cat setups. We got two catfish rods out. We do have a jug. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll start fishing. When I see something that looks catfishy, we'll deploy the jug. We're gonna go pick up the boys and uh, get to bass and bluegill and crappie fishing. You stay tuned. Land ho. What'd you have bite? You know? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. R well, really? Yeah. He looked like at, he was on there for a minute. Yeah, I was looking at you guys. He was. It was sunk. I was probably a little gill. A little gill. Yeah. Bail open on both of them. Sure. Yeah. Jump in. Oh boy. Jeez. Oh. I told I told him you got an eye for jug placement, so we'll leave it up to you. Okay. Alrighty, fellas. I'm worming. You're worming? Worming with the muscle. Right into the brush. How do you do that? Gone forever. What, is what do you mean? That, what? You that was the most it? impressive You've never seen somebody pitch a worm? Well, what, what do you mean? I, I thought you were a big worm pitching guy. I, I don't You're, you've never, you don't, you've never seen somebody yeah, do I that? Spinning you, oh, you don't know he is bait caster? Yeah, see, you can't do that yeah, with this. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well. Are you duty or what? Yeah. I'll give you your, give you your stick here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the bush dream you're made of, boys. That's actually the bush I did catch my catfish out of. Get the turtle. Three turtles. I love turtles. I would like one for my house. Turtle you man. You want a pet turtle? I would like that a big pet. one. Yeah. I'll get you that big one. Did you collect those two as a kid or just gerbils? Gerbils? No, just rocks. Think they're on the turtle pattern? Mm -hmm. Trying to catch a turtle? Don't think about it. Banjo's on bluegill duty. Big Junior on crappie duty. I'm on bass duty. And the catfish rods are doing their own thing. See how quickly we can catch every species. Oh, I just How'd that go? I got hit. Uh-oh. I, I I you get touched? Actually, rather miserable. Can I say that? I like it. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I'm on, I'm on board with touch. No, touched. that one's fine. I got the bass. We're good. Oh! Oh, you're, you're on! on. No way! I don't know what it is. Oh, right. Really? Hey. That's a crappie, isn't it? Yeah, oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Little crappie action. Big Junior's crappie service. There it is. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. First one, boys. Kind of a little see, guy. see that's, but that's the size you got to get rid of because they're the ones that are competing with the actual big ones. So, on the good note, we have a live well in the boat. Toss them in. You ain't going nowhere, son. That'll keep them alive. Really? Fish number one, crappie. How's that bluegill going? We don't know if, in, in Andrew's defense, we don't actually know if there's bluegills in here. We've never caught one. So, he could be wasting his time, but we figured if there was the man for the job to figure it out, it's... Really? Getting hot. You trying to get the viewership up? What is this? Yeah. It's, uh, it's not that late in the video <laughs> yet. I feel like we could wait. Put this in the pre-roll. Maybe we get more clicks. I'm getting hot. Oh, the sun's I see. Out. It is. It sun's out, guns out, boys. All right. We got one down. We got what? For sure two bass and catfish. Potentially three with bluegill to go. Stay tuned. All right, I'm switching it up. There's no more no more brush piles, so we are going to be covering some water here, boys. A little moving bait. A little clickbait action. The old happy trailer and the clickbait. Going in hot. You said there's trees on the other side? This side? Deep. Deep? Deep trees. Deep trees. Don't tend me with a good time. I will whip my worm. Correct. Oh, there's another tree down there. You, you weren't wrong. 
There's some trees down there. Correct. I'm just dragging my worm. Hopefully across the fish's face. Well, fellas, <clears throat> jug time. Big Junior, I know you're the big, you're a big jug guy, but you've seemed rather productive today since you're the one that's caught a fish. I'm gonna keep you doing that, okay? You got any tips for me? Put a lot on there. Put a, put a lot put on a, there. Aggressive... Just like we, like we did on the rod and reel setup. An aggressive amount. All right, so we've got one jug, one weightless floating jug. The wind's picking up a little bit, so I'll get it rigged up. Might go back there before we deploy it, but yep, that's warm. <laughs> really? Yeah. Get after it. So this is what we're using. Same stuff as them rods. A little kitty set up here. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and hook her through. The, what? Okay, I know we buy this for catfish. What do humans at Walmart buy these for? They don't. What, they sell them. Somebody has to buy them for something. I don't know. You don't cook them, right? Like, there's no way. You can fry them. You think you can fry them just like this? Gizzards and livers, yeah. Really? That sounds problem. rather not appetizing, I'll be honest. Big Junior, is that enough? That's healthy. Okay. I'll just toss them right here in banjo. Really? Yep. Let, the wind, let the wind do the wind thing. Jugs deployed. Well, we gotta catch some more fish, stay tuned. Sure. Parallel's gotta do it, right? Yeah. Hey, you're in here a little tight, huh? Yeah, I gotta get my troll motor back on this sucker. A little, a little tough. Trolling motor would be kinda handy, yeah? Oh, yeah. A little parallel action. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Is that, is that the move? Mm-hmm, old tree pounder. Well, boys, nothing's biting. Say we fire up the motor, maybe go to the other side. Not a whole lot of luck so far. Stay tuned. Is that jug bouncing or no? Kind of, yeah, I think so. We might have some jug activity here. Big Junior's jug service. Big Junior's knows where to place jugs, I've told you. The wind did, did just pick up. Like, a lot of times with the wind, they just they do one of these, but it just doesn't look quite like where we left it. Oh, oh. Oh, I think I found your deep trees. Oh yeah? Are you stuck? Oh, she nope. bounced. No, really? Yeah, she really? bounced once. Really? Yeah. Well, we're going right to it, boys. We might have a little jug action here. Oh yeah. That oh yeah, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's, look out, he's, hang on. He, we got one, we got one, he's going. He's going now, boys, he's going he's, now. He's leaving us. All right, Banjo, look at him, look at him. Oh, he's going, he's going, oh, yeah. oh, he's going, he's getting picked. Oh! He plunged it! Oh, he plunged it! Oh Who's my on god! Grab duty? My god, my god, my god. Put your rod out the other side. Out the other rod. side. He Flip it over. It. Flip he it over. Plunged it. Dude, oh, look at it straight up. He plunged it. He's got it standing oh, up. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's running! You got it. Oh yeah. Shut it off. Oh yeah. Megan? Oh! oh. 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 It's a jack! Get him in here! Get him in here! Flip him in! Oh god! Flip him in! Careful! Easy, hang on, hang on, hang on, easy, easy, hang on. Dude, you're gonna burn yourself. Where's, hang he, where's he hooked? Right now. Ah! Flip him in. Ah! In the front. Ah! 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 Oh my god. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's giant. Wow. Oh my god, he's giant. Wow. He's absolutely giant. That's why you use lots of liver. Oh, really? You know a lot about a good jug. I know a lot about a good jug. Big Junior's jug service was not a joke, dude. Holy I can't even crap. get him out. Oh my god, dude. I think we're gaining water. Huh? I don't know. It looks is like the plug, is, the, is the plug not in? Water yeah, there's was a way more ago. up here. I think it's because we're standing up here. Yeah, I got a, a, a pair of pliers, dude. He wasn't coming out. I promise you that. Thank I got damp. Dude. Yeah. He did get damp. I got wet. But it's worth it. That's a big fish. Dude, that's a giant, dude. Yeah. Dude, when he when he when they plunge when they a, plunge a jug, big. that's a big. Sure, it's, that's it's a big. It's big, but this is aggressive, no? Ah! Circle hook doing his job. Yeah, he wasn't coming out. Oh god. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, say we're, we're gonna that, we're gonna retire that hook, boys. Does that look, that bad? look at it. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that hook. Holy Gone smoke. forever. Goodness. Woo! Look at that fish. That's a giant channel, yeah. dude. Hold hold that sucker up, dude. Golly. Wow. I'll settle down. That's a tank. That's an absolute tank. Look at the girl. Oh! Oh, hey, Junior. <laughs> How'd that taste? Not good. You get him, man. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Big old Sheila. Dude, that's yeah. a whale shark. Yeah. I didn't know catfish. That's a giant. Yeah. <sighs> well, what do you think? Does that is that? Do you need to take him out to help the crop here? Can we release him? I feel bad. He's so yeah, big. He's so big. What do you think? He's good and healthy though. He'd eat nice. You think he'd eat? <laughs> Should we <laughs> eat him or no? He would, he would eat real nice. It's up to it's up to you. I guess it's up to the owner. All right, we'll eat him then. Okay. Bye. What'd he say? The verdict is we're eating him. Why? Really? Taking all the predators out, dude. How bad is this guy like crappie? I feel like that's a that's a we're doing a disservice. Now you know the size of the fillet. We're I mean, to I've never for? eaten a catfish that big. I don't think that might be the biggest I've eaten. Dude, it's gonna be a good. twenty inch fillet. Okay, before before before, well you can hold him up, but before we gong him. 
Okay, I want to go check our. I want to check our cat before lines. Before Big G puts some steel toes to you. Yeah. Right. Before Big G whips it out, let's see it, Banjo. Golly, son. Woo. The owner says we should take him out, so we're gonna respect his his orders and take him out. But I, I'm gonna go check these cat lines first. All right. So this was uh, weighty. This is a little weighted. I'm down. not gonna bring him all the way in. I just wanna check him. Okay, so it was still not engaged. Feel the bottom. I guess I'll bring it all the way in. I felt the little sum sum, so I was gonna make sure there's still. Nope. Oh yeah. Oh! Yeah, you still got it. I on. lost half of it. That's all right. Put that guy back. Bill open. I'm not doing that with the weightless though. We'll just check it. You get that big boy on this go to. <laughs> oh god! You can get throttled. Why is it bending? No, nothing. We're good. All right. We're good. All right, kill it. Take it out. We're eating them. We don't have any other catfish in owner's orders it's to gong them, so we're going to eat the biggest catfish I've ever eaten today. Yeah, stay tuned. All righty, fellas. We got kitty cat doing kitty cat things back there. Not doing too hot. And a crappie. Somehow we haven't caught a bass yet. Blows my mind. But we're on lap two now. Last time I threw the clickbait, I'm going to try going back to this low and slow worm. Banjo still got his night crawler. Stay tuned. I think Junior thinks he's dialed over he's here. Commanding. What are you saying? You see something? Oh, I just got touched aggressively. By what? I don't know. Fish. Look at that. What do you oh, mean? Look, look, that looks not, little. Did you not? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, is it a little? Toss it up. Here, here go for it, Banjo. Toss it back over there against the bank. Well, that should work. That wasn't as far as I wanted, but. Okay. Little brush action. Don't make me switch to that Cheeto Bandito. Good. Oh, oh there's some good stuff down there. There's some good stuff down there. There's, that might be a fish. You swimming with it? No, no. Yeah, I thought he was coming at me. Right. Probably that thing casted four feet. Probably. Tug it tight. That's what I like to do. <laughs> Turn them into actual knots. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of brush down here. There's got to be a mondo somewhere. A lot of trees overhanging. Trees. So. Got to be a mondo down there somewhere. You hooked up? Yeah, hang on. Real? Wait, you have one? What is it? What is it? It's a bass. Hey. Whoa! Bat. Look at Big Junior. There she is. This must be the the, the bait of the day. They the like old that. Black pink on the old underspin. You fry him whole. Really? I'm kidding. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, from an eating standpoint, no, but we absolutely should kill. Him. Yes. That you have to take these out for fish management. So. Blinded by the light. Ooh. Yeah, he's blinded by the light, ladies and gentlemen. So, although we're not going to eat them, as far as like managing a lake, you got to get them littles out. Anything, if you're going after trophy bass, the rule's like usually 11, 12 inches and less, you got to take them out. You got to get rid of them. Since we're going after a trophy crappie pond, they absolutely got to go because all they're going to do is compete with the crappie. So, Big Junior, you technically just caught the third species, although we're not going to eat them. So, I think we still we still need to catch another bass right here. There's one. Oh, oh, good. And that's an eater bass right there, boys. Right off the dock. Oh, Shut up! Dude, there's, there's, a there's a school of them. There's a school of them. There's a school of them. You set that hook like you were trying hey, to break his face. Hey, hey, Dip, you set that hey, hook like you we're eating good now, boys. <laughs> hey, we're eating good, son. I knew that dog bass would be a good one. So Big Junior's got to go too, doesn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. got to. Yep, he's got to go in the bucket. Good night, brother. We got a pile of bass. Wow! Just at, in a matter of seconds, the bass is. Look out! That's me setting the hook. <laughs> Dug in the line. Your line. Oh yeah, right there. Let's see if we can get another one off the dock. Dude, that felt so good. I picked it up and went, whoom! It was just like, that's what I was like, you big one. Big old Sheila. All right, Banjo, it's just up to you now. There might not be bluegills we, in, in, in Banjo's defense, we don't know if there's bluegills, but we got three out of the four species and all eaters. And we're about to crash. I get it, I get it. Got you got one. another one? Got huh? One. He's hooked up. Huh? What is that? Bass? Crappie? It's a crappie. Oh! No. Add him to the fish fry. Eat a crappie. Right off that dock, dude. Dude, they're no. on the dock pattern. So. I'm in pilings. Oh, she gone. Into the bucket. All right, we're getting them. We're getting on them, boys. We're getting on them. Oh, the bank shot, too. Give it the old ding. Yeah, <laughs> let, them, let them know dinner's here. The old dinner bell. Ring a ding ding. Where are you at, buddy? Oh. Dragging it down something. I thought he thumped it. Maybe they want the little click. I think so. <laughs> Why should you ding it off this stuff? Am I over you? Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> I, felt I think it. so. Now you're good, I think. Nope. No, you're definitely not good. Now that we know they're here, you know what I'm gonna go to? Hmm. Little Cheeto Bandito, boys. Gonna switch it up. Even though I caught one and it worked, we're flipping docks. All right, let's see. If I was a bandit bug, where would I hide in this? You got any of them side pouches? You got some easy accessible ones. No, no. Uh, there's swarms there. Here we go. Walk through a log. That's, a, that's always good. I've already got that dang one. A little tube. I could flip a tube. Flip a tube. Could flip a tube. There we go. We got the old go to box here. Oh, yeah. Old bandito bug action. That'll do it. That'll do it. All right, boys. Out with the old. 
nothing wrong with it, but you're talking about flipping some docks. Sheesh. Tough to beat this guy. Yeah. That, that little blue him. shimmer. Woo. Look how lonely Banjo looks. He looks so depressed that there's no blue ghost in the pond. <laughs> you're blue ghost Banjo. You can't blame me. If there's any guy on the planet that can catch him out here, it's you. But if they don't exist, that might, might be difficult. There's got to be a blue ghost. There has to be a blue ghost, right? He'll find it. Did you say you're gonna come out with an iHeart Jug shirt with Big Junior's face? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'd come out with. <laughs> I'd buy it. I'd wear it. Oh yeah. Oh. Really? Oh, that's gotta be a bass. What do you got? What is that? Is it gonna jump? What is that? Crappie, isn't it? Or is it a yeah, little bass? crappie. I can't tell. I think it's a crappie. Fighting them all. Crappie. Big Junior. Add him to the fish Save some for the rest of us. Hell. <laughs> The water's so hard, they power wash the house and put hard water stains on every window and can't get them off. And now they have to take steel wool to every window and get it off. And then he's going to charge me more because of the steel wool. He's going to scratch your windows. Correct, also. In case you're curious, there's 87 windows on my house. That's a lot. Yeah, correct, 87. That's too many windows. 87's a real number. He told me there's 87 of them. I might have four. I think I got like six. Well, well maybe. <laughs> and I got a rock. <laughs> Give it the tree dangle I'm right now. I, I'm in a tree. Big <laughs> Junior's in a tree. He's in a... Hang on, there's a fish on. Oh, come on. He come Is he on. swimming he it all the way over there? It over. Oh, Hang on. Nice. I told that it was the dangle. Yeah, that was like. Wow. There's the angle of the dangle. <laughs> what are you doing? Slide, son? I got, I got he took it around there. It worked. <laughs> Big Junior, catch a fish. Trees. We're right in here on this sucker. Oh, right there. <laughs> Dude, this guy's dialed. You're the, you're the crappie killer. He Blue is. Blue banjo. Official. Crappie killer. What are you doing? Do I want to see? You, a, you want to see a trick? trick? You're gonna slide your rod uh, down the line. I know what you're gonna do? I've watched your old videos. What do you mean a trick? Put your reel back on, brother. <laughs> you Put your reel back on. All right, you ready? Yeah. What are you doing? You're a psycho! What are you doing? Yeah, you oh, it didn't work. Yeah. No. You broke the tip of your rods all you did. Correct. I think I hit the dock with the rod. Now there. I yeah. just think you're a goofy fella, dude. Gotta... Now you can't cut your line or your rods in the lake. Correct. <laughs> you're screwed. That's what you are. Uh, Big I'll catch you another reach. fish. Big Junior, grab Andrew's rod we with gotta, your rod tip. We got push pull in this thing? Yeah, we do. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh now we're going to crush it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's good. Really? That looks good. Durable. Think things. That's a durability test. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Oh, Banjo's hooked Banjo. up. Lift up. Oh, oh, I stole it. He had him. No. Are you going to traverse that dock? No. <laughs> You're not going to. Yeah, he is. No, we're leaving. See ya. Good luck. Back to fishing. Think I can catch one in Banjo's there while you're nibbled. fishing right there? Yeah. That's fine. Probably there blue they goes. Are. Yeah, I know. Hey, get off there, huh? Fish, catch one right there. That's what I'm going to do. You got one, Banjo. He's swimming with it. Yep. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick it up. Blue go! Oh, I go, got it! Blue go! Blue go! They got him in here! Got it. I knew you'd find it! I knew you'd find Why it! Why is this broken down? This is the juice! We call almost everything right here. In the live well. Yep. I should probably start. Stop trespassing. Sorry for trespassing. Can I do that now? <laughs> yeah. does, that get, does that get me out of the ticket? Yeah. Sorry for yeah. trespassing. <laughs> You got a bluegill. Yeah. That's incredible, actually. Yeah. That is incredible. Bit. Just we right out here. here. We have officially caught every species in this lake that we know of. That we know of. Assuming there's no walleye or anything else. But that, that, that's the first bluegill you've seen come out of this lake, right? I'm going to try to get yep. another one right now. That's crazy. I didn't know they were in here. Told you, you bring the man and you, you make it happen. I'll find them. Well, we're going to keep fishing. Apparently, they're on the docks. There's a bunch of docks in front of us. So we're going to keep giving a dangle. Therefore, we've got a large fish fry. You guys stay tuned. This thing is Banjo. loaded. <laughs> What's this? Loaded. What the hell? Turn the camera off. What this guy's dialed. Okay, Banjo, all right, we're, Banjo, you, we're gonna keep you here in your own. He's like a shark. Here. Banjo's getting him dialed in, boys. All right, let me see if you can watch him get another one. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. He already got. He got poked once. Yep. He got it. Oh. oh. Choke that worm. Yeah. Oh. oh. That is literally the post right that I flipped and caught that bass. They're all dude. hanging. That on is that crazy. Post. Yeah. He's yep, got it. He's yep, got it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh that's bigger than the last one. Yeah, it is. Sheesh. All right, Banjo's dialed, yep. boys. Banjo is dialed on the bluegill. I mean, look at the harvest. Oh, Big Junior's son. Oh, no, he's uh -uh. got a tree. No, wait, you got one? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Really? Really? What is it? Bass? It's the old bass. Dude, this is this the doctor dreams are made. This is the most dialed dock ever. These are the this is the doctor dreams are made of, boys. I mean, look at the harvest we got yeah, at our feet. We got a lot of fish in the boat. We're going to keep fishing. Stay tuned. Right in the danger zone again. Mm -hmm. Flip this other dock. Yeah, that guy. How yeah. did you do that? Slowing it down. Uh, tension control. I don't know what you call it. Before? You've just never seen anybody fish for real. There's one. Yeah, he's swimming with it. She goes. Oh no, boy. He's in the brush, dude. Come on now. Another Big good bass. one though. Big bass. Yes, oh sir. yeah. Yes sir. Woo! Oh, oh, oh save the bandito. Look at that guy. 
Hey, not in the boat. Hey, quit pissing. Not in the boat. Why is he peeing on us? Hey. <laughs> Look at that guy. Fin. Another one. That's a good one. On That's the Cheeto one, Bandito, though. boys. Hey, you can't beat it. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> Pop it again. Damn, he'll swim right back, though. You got one, Big oh, Jim? Yeah. Really? Oh, silent He don't say nothing. Here. I just... Oh, this is a silent I, movie? Oh, came oh. Up. He gives him a... Oh, yeah. I know. I made yeah. a noise. <laughs> oh, yeah. I made a noise. Okay. Made, I made a noise. I did. Did I know? Every fish you've caught, I've had to ask if you caught one. <laughs> silent. Oh, yeah. There you go. I got a fish. Oh, oh hey, he's, he's back is. on. He's back to back, boys. Back to back. What do you got? I don't know. I can't is see it. Is it It's skipping. Crappie. Crappie. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Crappie killer. Here's a harvest season right now. That is the skinniest. That's why they're stunted Correct. in there. Yeah. Look, how, look how bad that thing is. Bring that thing over here. You want to talk about a stunted fish? Look how that thing is paper thin. That looks horrible. Yeah, yeah see, that's why if you want a big crappie, you can't have them in there. Thin yeah. them out. He's on the cook list. Oh, yeah. 98% of our fish off this one dock. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> like, we're, we still at, fished... we're still at the dock. There's more docks. We haven't even fished another one yet. We just keep catching them. Really? I have to look at Oh, yeah. yeah. Give Come on now. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at the sun. God, yeah. Look at that. The whole sun fish. In case you're curious, same dock. Same we, dock. we haven't left yet. It's same dock. We got to drop anchor out here. This, huh? this is the place to be. <laughs> Feels good. Monster. Oh, you're in my life. Look out. Oh, now we got a mess. It's done. It. It's done. He's stunned for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Fun time here. Correct. I'm just trying not to let that yeah, sink it into my fingers there. <laughs> hey, we were told to harvest, ladies and gentlemen, and that is what we did. We got four bluegills one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crappie, courtesy of Big Junior, the bluegill, courtesy of Banjo, yeah. and we got some largies, courtesy of everybody. That one is actually a pretty nice one, but as you can tell, nothing giant. A lot of them got to go in order to leave room for the next guy. Even if you think you've got a healthy population of bass, I think they say like 25 pounds of bass per acre per year need to be, there's some statistic, like you basically always got a cold bass, regardless. and then you got Big Sheila. Okay, hold hold Sheila up, Banjo. That's a bait-eating son of a gun. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Golly. Yeah. Look at the belly yeah. on her. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. there. Uh, although I feel bad eating her because she's she put up a, a hell of a fight. As far as getting big old crappie, I mean, you can tell th these crappie are stunted. They're pretty much all the Cookie exact cutters. same type. Even the bluegills are fairly similar. The bass, we did catch a decent variety of them. So, like, the bass, in my opinion, probably aren't as stunted as some of the other species in here. But ultimately, they are predator fish, which would eat what crappie eat and ultimately compete with them. Look but, how skinny they are. Yeah. I mean, it's like paper thin. There ain't, there ain't enough food for, for the crappie out here. So we are going to fillet a bunch of this stuff. Up. Obviously, we're going to eat all this food, including big old kitty cat there. But we're going to harvest it. We're going to take them back to the kitchen, and we're going to do a catch and cook. You guys stay tuned. Bam! Well, look at the harvest, boys. We got lots of clean. Grab a knife. Grab a knife. <laughs> Anyways, so big Sheila service right here. Crappie, bluegill, bass. We're going to show you how to clean the bass just because I don't really ever do that. Okay, we're not big harvest of the bass guys, but if you're trying to have trophy fish in your trophy lake, you got to do the harvest. So you can't see this on YouTube, by the way. You have to go to uncut, but anyways. Bam. We're ready for Who gave, who gave, who gave me? That's the piece we're after is that one right there. Right there. Wah bam. We've got all the species. This is crappie. This is clearly a giant catfish. We got little bluegill with parasites, extra extra flavor. It's like it almost looks like pepper. And then this is the largemouth, which we actually got pretty good fillets. He's also got parasites. Classic. So what are you guessing is gonna that? taste the best? Crappie. Bluegill. I'm gonna go catfish. I have to go bass at that point. Okay. I feel like I have no, I like I have no other choice. The catfish that big is not gonna taste. I don't good. think the catfish no. is gonna be that great. It's no, not it's, it was tough. How, okay, so you think the catfish is gonna be the best? How do you want me to prepare it? Then you want to cube, I, like, you cube it? Yeah, just do them all the same. Just do a yeah, little, little, a, little, little dice. Little slices. Do you want thinner or? Do you want thinner, thicker? Definitely thinner. Okay. Since Banjo is going to be the catfish guy, I'm going to go ahead and take out this little middle strip too, just for safety reasons. Safety. Safety. Because that, because the see the, the little red, red meat. You don't see, like the red. That's not oh, ideal. Oh, you'll be fine. It's not ideal. You don't want that. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean that up for banjo. See, there's still a little bit of see, I think it's gonna give you a little little tang, a little wang. You want the tang and the wang. You don't. We're gonna cube it up, Banjo. I think that's gonna give us that's the right chance. the right texture. Catfish nugs. Catfish nuggies. Okay, we're gonna throw them in the water. Go ahead and cut this guy up as well. I have heard before Let's hear that it. if you fry the catfish first, everything else is gonna taste like catfish. I also use that oil. Second man. You might want to fry the catfish last. I, I will take you up on that advice and go ahead and put that to the side. Anyways, let's go. Let's let's start with crappie then. Okay, that one's crunchy. Oh, I think they're you, all crunchy. They're, you're gonna have. I think you're gonna have a little crunch. Junior's on rib duty, so that's yeah. actually not true. Eat a little crunch action. Crappie killer. Let's see. Okay, that one's good. See this one. 
Not many, you'll be all right. This one feels all right, yep. Oh yeah, that's a full rib cage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they digest. Do they? I don't know. I think they come out the way they went in. Ooh, brutal. That would not be fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and take all that off, just so we don't have any incidents. Keg, crappie are going in. This one feels fine. All right, so go ahead and open that sucker up. We've got Guggen fish batter, ladies and gentlemen. We're going all original because we want the flavor of the fish to speak for itself when determining what is the ultimate fish out of the pond. Crappie, bluegill, bass, or catfish. Full bag in there. Go ahead and dump her in there. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. So we've got this, oh, there's some more spikes. Yeah, uh, heels are crunch. Yeah, that'll cook out. All right. All right, whole bag, straight from the water. You can do buttermilk if you want it a little extra thick, but again, we want we want the fish to speak for themselves. We don't want it to just be, taste like breading. We want the fish to taste the way that they're naturally supposed to taste. So you take it, you flip it upside down. You're leaking. Really? You need a new tub. There you oh. go. Oh. It's on me. Use your hair. Now, you should have perfect breaded fillets. Right there, boys. We're gonna throw, oh yeah, she's hot. It's gonna go quick with the crappie, too. It's gonna go quick with the crappie. Wah bam. You guys ready? She's spicy. All right, I don't want to get it ready too early because if you start breading it, then it gets soggy. I'm gonna do it one at a time to make sure they're all even. So we got the crappie. As soon as they're out, we're gonna go to bluegill, then bass, then catfish. You guys stay tuned. Flash fry, ladies and gentlemen. Quick, that was like a those minute. Look but look how golden yeah, and crispy. Be, I mean, those, come on. Those, those might be hard. It's gonna be eat. tough. Yeah. That's gonna be tough. All right, so we've got the bluegill teed up. Oh, felt a little little roughage in there. You'll be all right. Let's see if I can do this a little bit better this time without the spills. All right, pop it open. Bam! Beautifully breaded bluegill. Triple B. Yep. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> All right, let's see. Last one. This is going to take wah bam equally as quick. Those should be. Breading's still looking good. Sometimes it gets a little bit of moist, a little, little bit too moist. You don't want that. You want it to be nice and dry, but honestly, it's looking pretty good. So, same deal. These bad boys are not going to take long. Once they get golden, crispy, start flowing, you take them out. Bluegill, Banjo's Bluegill service. Those are rather small. Man. At your service. Those Golden, no, crispy. Good. They do look good. Look, almost like little potato chips. All right, on to the bass. We're going, we're going all in, just, just, just like that. I agree. Just like that. Throw them in there, get them nice and moist. I'm gonna do one at a time in case the first one comes out under battered. Might need to throw some freshness in there. We'll try. All right. Ooh, that's pretty good, honestly. Yeah, she's good. That's solid. Oh, yeah. That's solid. All right, we're gonna pull it up, stage it, get ready, get this next guy in there, fry him at the same time. Those are good chunks of fish. We have a small bluegill nug stuck in the top. Flip it upside down again. Is there a bluegill up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, Brett. Brett! We had a, he, we got, gotta save he, got, him. he got through the grate. Fallen soldier. All right, last one. Oh, yeah. So them are gonna take a little bit longer, but same thing. Golden crispy floating, and you're in business. Jeez, look at them big old golden crispies. Looks like KFC. Look at them bad boys. Two big old nuggies. Oh yeah. They're like Long John Silver. Oh Silvers. yeah. Look at that. Long mm -hmm. John Silver. Mm -hmm. What's that? Are you excited for that? Which one do you think is gonna be best? Which fish? The bluegills. The bluegills. <laughs> it sounds like she said bluegills. Bluegill. bluegill. You think Rock the bluegill on. are gonna be the best? <laughs> Okay, all right, I guess, we'll I guess we'll find out. All right, catfish are up into little bites just to give us a little bit of a competitive advantage here. Just because I feel like a, just a chunk of catfish is yeah, not, not going to compare to a little as yeah. big as this, you yeah. know? As thick as this fillet is. All right, well, last but not least. Can I ask what the advantage you think cutting it up into cubes gives it for taste? It's not as thick of a chunk. I just, I think it'll, it'll give you maybe a little, it, like it, your bre your breading. Okay, here's why. I'll actually give you the reason. Because if you, ha if this was one big piece, okay, you would have breading here and here. But if you took a bite, your second bite wouldn't have breading on the edge. But every single bite you have actually has breading on both edges. Right, so it, right, it's give, like a twenty five percent I'll, I'll increase. Give you that. Science. I'll give you that. I, I made know that about, up on the I don't spot. know about science, but yeah. <laughs> made that up. All right, here we go, boys. We're gonna go in. Start tossing them in. These look lightly breaded, to be honest. It's interesting how fish, different fish reacts. Some Big fish breading, gets yeah. a lot of breading, some of them don't. If it's not enough breading for you, you can throw some buttermilk or egg wash. We wanted it to be all even and just equal. We don't want anything to have an advantage other than cutting into a little bit smaller pieces, so. All right, boys, catfish is in. We're gonna take it out, let it all cool off, and see which one wins. Stay tuned. Shoot, we are ready. We've got crappie, we got bass, we got bluegill, and the kitty cat. And I'll be honest with you, Banjo, your kitty cat's gonna Don't be. Don't judge a book by its cover. I will absolutely. I, will do I, am, I am currently doing All right, that. I'm breaking this off. This is for. This is what crappie. Yep. That looks good. 
Mmm. I taste good. Mmm. All right. That, that's gonna be tough to beat. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, that's real good. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rate it. I'm not yep, gonna rate yep. it. All right, let's go to bass just to just to curveball it a little bit. Pretty white. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. 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 I like my piece. That's all I'm gonna say. I like my piece. All right, yeah. bluegill. Same thing. Break it off. A crunch. Yeah, that was a crunchy mm -hmm. piece. That's tough. That's, that's gonna take a second. To register or to what? Both. Really? Yeah. I'll piece that one. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Okay. All right. I'm going for the catfish now. Oh, it's hot feel. Real hot. Oh yeah, that's getting broken. Uh -oh. That's not good. Hey, brother. I haven't put this in my mouth yet. No well, matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back. A little swampy. Hey, dude. I'm gonna swallow this, but I'm not happy about it. I'm not taking another piece. Woo! That's four I got points. her down. I got her down. You yeah. can't fish fun to catch. Not that's, to eat. Don't eat. I, I'm gonna say, not my favorite. That's why that's, they call them 12 inch catfish eaters. That's why we typically don't eat them big dogs. I mean, now, just, but hey, now we know. Tastes like we just drank the pond. It just that's tastes awful. like pond water. Yeah. All right. So I think we can all we can all vote. This is last. Yeah. Okay. So now this is what we this is what we're dangling with. I'm gonna go back in. I'll grab a little bass. I don't I don't need to try that again. I need to go between these two. Again. I agree. I agree. I really like that. Okay. That one's already in my mouth. There's just some substance to that. This one's crappy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll stand by what I said. Okay, yeah. hang on. It's close. It's real close. Cleanse the palate. <clears throat> I think I know. Okay, how do you want to do it? What's your third place? I agree. Okay, so bass, was, it, was, bass is out. It was a good third place. <laughs> yeah, but it's not better than I thought. Yeah, yeah. correct. But it's pretty obviously third. And what I do like about it, it's it, there's some substance. Yeah. 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 So really, it comes down to this: bluegill and crappie. Virginia? Unfortunately, cro I think crappie's better. Crappie. I'm bluegill, so you're gonna have to break oh, it. Really? You're gonna break it down. Honestly, I just thought the bluegill had a little more flavor, but could've yeah. been the piece. Could've been the piece. That was my exact reasoning for why the crappie yeah. was better. Because you thought your piece was better? Yeah, it was more flavor. Really? They're so close. It right. is super you're, close. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to pick. You, you, you're gonna have to pick. Either we're gonna tie it up, mm. or you're gonna you're gonna slam Skew for, slam for crappie. Yep. All right, get this piece that was not touched by Big Junior. <laughs> mm-hmm. Crunch. There was lots of crunch. Yeah, it had a little more crunch action. There's a better battered fish ratio on the bluegill because it's smaller. But I think I like the flavor of the crappie better. See, that's exactly what I. Unfortunately, I, I'm not gonna argue because hey, they're both they're both dang good. Really good. Mmm. Just so clean. That's very so good. Yeah. Very good. Try this, Jake. Do I really need to? Yes. You can tell by feeling it what's gonna happen. There it is. Yeah, it hit you. That's a lot of catfish grease in one piece of fish there. Bye. You want a bite? I do like this one. Yeah. Try that yeah. one. Don't this, taunt her. This would be a good one. It's crappy. What is that? It's crappy. It's crappy, it's crappy dude. What do, you, what, is, what do you think? It's gonna hurt? It's bluegill or crappy. It's crappy, yeah. You should try that. Is try it hot? No. No, it's, it's cool. You gotta try no. it. It's good stuff. It, it tastes Here. like chicken. It's real good. Here, that one's for you. I'll eat this one. You cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you want to eat it? You are like your mother. Here, it's like chicken. Let's cheers. It's good. Cheers. Can you cheers to Jake? Yeah, this one's yours. You got to oh, cheers. She's shutting down on us. Uh oh. Uh. We I think it's it's over. It's over. We, we I tried. The bass, I really did enjoy the bass. You haven't tried the bass, have you, Jake? Yeah. Try that. I really like the bass. There's just a lot of substance to it. Mhm. Mm the texture of the bass is squishier. Like yeah. it doesn't keep like wild. Well, it's yeah. real firm. Crappie's mm -hmm. real firm. Bluegill's real firm. It's just kind of mushy, but it's good flavor. It, it doesn't have bad. That's taste. probably. I would say that's probably the one of the best bass yeah. I've oh, eaten. Yeah. Like probably because it's, it's early in the season. Tastes really good. Catfish, absolutely not. Put them back. Or if you're just trying to manage your lake, then you know. I'm sure if you made it into like a catfish patty, you would be fine. But we wanted the authentic taste using the Guggen fish fry across the board. The boys voted for crappie. I think a bluegill was a close second. Bass was also really good. Catfish, absolutely. Absolutely not. Mm. Can't let it go to waste. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, Guggen Fishing Black Friday is now available. Everything will be linked down in the description down below. Go get your dang on, go get your lures, go get your gear. This is the biggest discount of the year, only available at GuggenSquad.com. We'll catch you in. Peace.